Have you ever sorted your data in Excel and wanted to get back to your original sorting order but didn't know how? In this video, we'll go over a foolproof way to ensure you always have the option to return to your original sorting order regardless of how you sort your data. Let's get into it. In this example, we have a list of different countries around the world and their population. The countries listed are currently in no particular order. Let's select our data and then sort it alphabetically in ascending order based on country name. When we go back into the sort dialog box, we see there's no option available to revert back to the original sorting order. Thankfully, in this case, we can just undo the change we made through using the native undo function in Excel. Now, let's say we go through those same steps, sort our data, except instead of undoing the changes we made, we save the file and then close it. Once we close the file, we lose the ability to undo any changes we previously made, meaning the new sort order will now be the new normal sort order without any way to get back to the original sort order. So how do we get around this? There's one simple and foolproof method that we can use, and it involves using something called a helper column. A helper column in Excel is essentially an additional column that is added to your data set that really adds no value to the data set itself, but allows the user to manipulate, organize, or format their data in ways that the original data set may not allow for. In this case, we will use a helper column to track the position of our original data. Let's go ahead and add a third column to our data set, and we'll call it helper call. The name really doesn't matter here, so feel free to use whatever you prefer. We can then enter the number one in row two, followed by the number two in row three. Let's cascade this ascending counter to the end of our data set by double clicking at the bottom right of the cell in row three. Now, if we sort our data in alphabetical ascending order, we see that the numbers in column C are all over the place, which is expected. If we wanna get back to our original sorting order, all we have to do is sort our data set again, but this time we'll sort alphabetically in ascending order based on the data in our helper column. Using this method, we no longer need to rely on having to undo our action, which means we can save and close our workbook without fear of not being able to get back to our original sorting order. If you find you aren't actively using this helper column, or you really just don't wanna see it for one reason or another, you always have the option to hide the column. To access it via the sorting dialog box, just make sure you select one additional column past the hidden column. This way you can still sort based on the helper column data. If you enjoyed this video and are interested in seeing other videos like this in the future, please leave a like and let me know down in the comments. Thanks a lot and have a great day.